This past Monday, the 11th seeded 10 and 10 Hopkinton Hillers girls took on 6 seeded Wayland in the girls Central Division 2 sectionals. The Hillers led 16 to 10 after the first quarter of action. Lauren Cho dropped 9 points in the first frame, but the Wayland offense came alive in the second quarter and early foul trouble led to 9 points off of free throws for the Warriors. Wayland outscored Hopkinton in the second, 26-6, and led at the half, 36-22. The third quarter was more back and forth, but Wayland kept pace with Hopkinton and outscored the Hillers, 13-12. It was a 49-34 Wayland lead heading into the fourth. Despite a couple of Kiki Fossbender field goals, Wayland was able to maintain and took the game 57-45. In the game, Kiki Fossbender put up 15 points, while Lauren Cho had a team-high 18 points. It was a great effort by the Hillers, but they will end their season with a record of 10 wins and 11 losses. Wayland advanced to the quarterfinals and fell to Medfield and a close one, 56-51 on Thursday night. Congratulations to head coach Mike Greco and the girls on a tremendous season. The Hopkinton boys entered the Central Division II bracket as the eighth seed with a 10-10 record. In the first round, they went to Grafton High School and took on the first seeded 18-2 Grafton Indians and the game was a back and forth battle the whole way. Here's a look. Ambersoni launches a three, no good, just wide. Put back, and a great feed over to Rosen, up and in he goes for the first points of the game. Here comes Utara. Utara working down the lane, feeds it out. Now back to the corner to Palmer. He'll drive along the baseline, up and in. Ooh, that was too easy for Palmer. He saw the lane on the baseline. He cut up with the left hand and in. Takes it down the lane, spins around the defender, up and good. What a, a sweet move. Oh, a skillful move, Tom. That was pretty. Down the lane, and he's blocked. And it is collected by Rosen, and he puts it in. Feeds it over. Here comes Palmer, taking it to the rack. Up and in he goes. Gotcha. Rosen up, and the foul. Rosen turns around, up and in. Looking like Kevin McHale on that one. Great stride, pivot, up and off the glass. Maybe he'll get a new nickname out of you. Utara for three, got it. Woo! Mara Utara right at the buzzer. After one quarter of play, it's Hopkinton 13, Grafton 11. Down the lane, Ooh. off the window and in. Count it. Here comes Utara trying to respond. And he lost it. Yep. Hiller's basketball. Clyde's with Ambersoni, and Ambersoni shook it up. Fires it to the corner, up for a three. McInerney got it. It was only a matter of time before McInerney hit one of those shots. Well, speeds it out to Boder. Now Utara driving in, up, and he oh. slams it down. Oh, boy. And that brings the crowd to their feet. Wow. Powerful slam by Utara. Rosen driving in, around the defender, up, and in he goes. Good pivot move by Rosen. And Five seconds of counting left to go. Down the lane, up for the shot. Got it. Oh, big bucket. And after one half of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers leading the Grafton Indians 27 to 22. Back to Ambersoni, feeds it in Finfrock, oh. Rosen, finishes! Driving in around the defender, up, count it. Mm. Bergenholtz puts Grafton within three. Finfrock, Maffiori, tips it over to Ambersoni. And it's stripped away, here comes Palmer. Palmer, coast to coast, to the rack, up and in, plus the foul. Yeah. Rankatori back to Rosen. Rosen surrounded by defenders, kicks it out to Maffiori, up for three. Got it! Oh. What a quarter of play that was. We are knotted up at 37 apiece, heading to the final eight minutes. Stay tuned, folks. You are not going to want to miss the conclusion of this game. Cooper for three. Count it! Ooh. Matt Cooper knocks it down! The junior comes through big, and the Hillers are up by eight. In front. Down the lane, trying to get it out to Rosen. Regathers off the Ooh. fingertips and in. Left hand finger roll. Beautiful shot by Finfrock. Sony driving in up and good. 
Using his body. Special, I think, just missed the collision. Mafiori is down in some pain. Ambrosoni over to Cooper. Back to Ambrosoni now. Looking for where to go with it. Going to fire to Finfront. Ooh. Tip to Rosen, and Rosen finishes. What a beauty of a tip by Finfrock. Best pass of the night, Finfrock, giving his team the lead. Up for by three. Oh. Got it. What a response by McInerney. That clock run down. Shot clock at 15 seconds. Mafiori calling it out. Hillers need to get a shot off soon. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Ambersoni driving in around the defender. Oh, off the window wow. and in. Mafiori has been tough as nails today and a big shot. Second of two. Got it. Huge free throws. Hillers up by six. Over to Utara. Utara going to likely take a three. No, he'll take it to the rack. Off the window and in. You needed a three there if you're grafted. That's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take down the first seeded Grafton Indians and advance on to the semifinals. A 59 to 55 win over Grafton. Unbelievable. Tom Nappy alongside head coach of the Hopkinton Hillers, Tom Keen. Coach, what a tremendous win against a very good Grafton team out there tonight. Yeah, it was a great win against a team that's the number one seed and 18 and two. And They've had a phenomenal year, so it was really a testament to how hard our kids played tonight that we were able to beat such a good team. And Elon Rosen had a tremendous night putting up 25 points. Can you talk about his performance? Yeah, he's been playing great the last few games, and he's really set the tone for us. I think he had something like 17 or something in the first half, and uh, he's so athletic. And when he's shooting the ball well, we are uh, a much better team. And a, a tremendous performance tonight all around in the low post. It seemed that the Hillers uh, dominated in the low post for the most part. Uh, to do that against a, a Grafton team like this, could you just talk about what it says about your roster this year? Yeah, you know, we didn't necessarily shoot the three as, as well as we usually shoot it, but the low post play, as you said, really carried the day for us. And I think that both teams were playing very hard defensively, and so there weren't a lot of easy baskets in that game at all and uh, like you said the post low post was definitely where we had a little bit of an advantage tonight and how good does it feel as an eighth seed to come down and take down the first seed it feels fantastic you know I don't think I've ever had a team where we're the lowest seed and we beat the top seed in the tournament and uh, coach Petratus is one of my best friends you know uh, we played together at Anna Maria College so to be your best one of your best friends in the tournament makes it even sweeter. <laughs> Bragging rights for a while, Bragging right? Bragging rights for a little bit. <laughs> Congratulations, exactly. Coach. Thank you so much. Tremendous win. Yeah, Tom you. Nappy here with Elon Rosen. Tremendous game out there. How does it feel to take down first seeded Grafton? It feels really good. Uh, we put a lot of work in. It was a big upset, and we're really proud of it. And uh, can you just talk about um, your performance tonight? You put up 25 points. Just had a tremendous night in the low post. Yeah, I don't know. It, I just started making a lot of shots. Uh, just, just a great performance, really. I don't know what to say about it. Uh, I just like to shout out uh, Sean Ellis for his amazing, uh, like multi-dimensional performance on the court and on the bench. It was amazing. And how was the atmosphere tonight? Uh, fantastic atmosphere. We got our fans right at our back, and uh, just a ton of energy. We felt like we was at home game. And how did it feel to take down a number one seed? Fantastic. All right, best of luck in the next round. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Here with Stephen Maffiori. Stephen, a tremendous game by you guys out there. How does it feel to take down first seed Grafton? Uh, it feels awesome. You know, throughout the year, we, we started off real strong. And, you know, we had a, had a couple bumps, obviously, you know, with Coach Gone and things like that. So to be able to come out here and uh, get a win on the road, especially against a great team like Grafton, uh, we're really excited and we're happy we get, get to keep playing. And um, you played through some pain today, but it doesn't seem like you missed a beat. Can you talk about your performance? Uh, you know, it just, we all, I mean, we all contributed in a great way. You know, my, my job on the team is to try to make shots, and you know, that's, luckily that's, my shots went in today. But, you know, Elon, Tommy, Travis, you know, everyone who played today really stepped up. And it's not a one-man thing. It's really the whole team. And without the guys that went in, and even the guys that didn't go in today, you know, uh, the guys that stayed on the bench, they, they were up every whistle, up every bass. You know, they, they, they gave us confidence. So it's real awesome. I mean, I'm happy I play well, but it's real, really a team win. And what's it like playing with this group? You guys seem to look like you have a good time out there. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, we've all been together since we started playing basketball. You know, there's eight, eight of us seniors, and then all the, we're all real close to the juniors too. So it's awesome to be able to play with those guys and you know, get a win with them. So 
we're tight. We love playing together and we have fun. How's the leg feeling? It's been better, uh, <laughs> not going to lie, but I'll be all good and we're going to hopefully keep it rolling. All right, well, congratulations and best of luck in the next round. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. The Hopkinton boys advance on to the semifinals round and will play the winner of Westboro and Milford at Clark University Tuesday, March 3rd at 7.45 p.m. Congratulations on a tremendous win to Coach Keene and the Hopkinton Hillers.